Hello everyone and welcome back to Thomas and Friends Home Media Reviews. This review is on Mud Glorious Mud. However, I feel that the mud is not so glorious, but we'll get to that later. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the history section of Mud Glorious Mud. So Mud Glorious Mud was originally released back in 2008 and was reprinted in 2014 by Universal. Yeah, Mud Glorious Mud didn't really have a long lifespan on DVD, which I don't think it deserved as long of a lifespan as it did, but again, we'll get to that later. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the close-up section of Mud Glorious Mud. <laughs> Alrighty, everyone, here's your close-up look at Mud Glorious Mud. We start off here, we've got the Thomas Friends logo up at the top. Mud Glorious Mud and a good font down there. Dang it, what's her name? I completely forgot her name. Isabella. Isabella. I blanked. I was about to say Elizabeth, but then I'm like, no, that's her model, but that's Isabella. Silly me. Um, and then there's Thomas on the side covered in mud. Nice poster here, as such. As always, that these these always have really good poster art. On the side, we have the Hit Entertainment logo. Scroll on down here. Portrait of Muddy Thomas. Universal. That's right. This is a recent copy. This was printed in, I believe, 2014, I think. So, this is not an original. So, there's something to keep in mind. On the back, Mud Glorious Mud. Got our blurb. I believe that's a snapshot from Missing Trucks. I think that's from A Friend in Need. Or you know what? That might not even be from Missing Trucks. I really have no idea what that's from. But I know that's from A Friend in Need. Uh, and our features, just six fun-filled stories. That's it. At least that's all that's listed. I'm not sure if there's anything else on, on, on here. But we'll find out during the menu tour. Open this up. It's that kind of cheap, not so cheap plastic that I can still bend really easily. Uh, but at least it's solid. And that's better than nothing, I guess. Mud Glorious Mud, it's that standard universal disc that I've... I wouldn't say I hate, but I'm not really a fan of it. It's It just it just doesn't... It just will n n never beat the squished up versions of the post art. So, with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into our menu tour of Mud Glorious Mud. Alrighty, everyone, here's our menu tour for Mud Glorious Mud. My apologies if that looked a little dark. I'm currently running out of daylight, as I usually do whenever I film these. Thanks, Daylight Savings Time. Kill yourself. Anyway, here we are for the Mud Glorious Mud menu tour. I really shouldn't even have this muted, because listen... There's no music. There's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. Topham never speaks. There's no, like, Thomas puffing up or anything. It's literally just a screenshot for the menu, and there's no music. So I'm going to mute it just in case, but that's kind of lazy, universal. Lazy, lazy, you. Let's transition to the Pick a Story menu. We have Edward, the really useful engine. Thomas and the Avalanche, missing freight cars. Mud, Glorious Mud, A Friend in Need, which is the Alec Baldwin version, interestingly, and Edward Trevor and the Really Useful Party. So, head on back to the menu here. Let's take a look at our sing-along songs. We have Night and Day. I think Night and Day is a Tom Cruise movie, except it's spelled with a K, like Night and Day. Uh, uh, I could be wrong. I think I saw that at Walmart once. Togetherness and Engine Roll Call. Let's move on to the character gallery. It's probably going to be the... Oh, no. It's the uh, character gallery from Thomas... From Thomas's Trusty Friends and Onside with Thomas. Interesting. I thought that they would go with the cheap route and go with just the standard character gallery. So we don't have to listen to any of those since we've already heard them. Sneak Peeks. Let's take a look. It's literally just a bunch of trailers. There's a Tale of the Brave trailer. A Day Out with Thomas trailer. And this trailer for some, like, beach resort thing featuring its most primal characters. The li Little Big Club or whatever it is. Look at that Thomas. Look at how creepy that looks. I'm just saying, that's pretty unsettling. 
So that pretty much wraps up the menu tour for Mud Glorious Mud. There's really not much here in terms of bonus content or anything. There's no game or anything that we could play to make this longer. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I apologize that this is pretty short. Not as short as Carnival Capers' menu tour though. That was pathetic. So anyway, let's go ahead and transition back and we'll answer the five main questions as always. All right, so we're back from the close-up. Now it's time to answer the five main questions as always. Number one, where can you pick this product up? Online retailers, half price books, big lots, everywhere I've mentioned that sells used Tom's DVDs. You could probably find it at FYE too. Anywhere like that, but online retailing is probably your best bet. Number two, is this product still being printed nowadays? I don't think so. I haven't seen a copy since I bought mine in 2014, so... Or actually, it was 2015, now that I think about it. So, I'm gonna say no to that. Number three, should you pick this product up? I mentioned in the last day tomorrow, two weeks ago, that I feel that Mud Glorious Mud is one of the most unnecessary releases to ever come out of the Thomas and Friends home media franchise. Let me explain. Really, the only new content here is three stories. The other three stories are repurposed classic series stories just thrown onto this disc to make a release. Now, the three stories in question that aren't classic series, I'll list them off for you here, is uh, Thomas and the Avalanche, which that's season seven, I guess you could say it's classic series, but it hasn't been on any other release, so it's new for this release. Missing Cars, which is a new series re released during, dealing with the Narrow Gauge characters, and you guys already know how much I despise the new writing style of the Narrow Gauge characters for the new model series, and Mud Glorious Mud, which was the final pack story that we didn't get back with Thomas's trusty friends. The three classic series episodes are Edward the Really Useful Engine, which is from Season 6, A Friend in Need, which is also from Season 6, but it's the Alec Baldwin narrated version, so that's interesting, and Edward Trevor and the Really Useful Party, which is from Season 3. Again, this release feels like a hodgepodge. It honestly felt like Lionsgate was stepping in saying, oh crap guys, uh, we kind of forgot to release the rest of season seven with one story. We also forgot to release the rest of the pack series with one story. Oh crap, uh, well, uh, season 10 isn't complete on Thomas and Friends home media format, so let's put Missing Cars on there, because that's an episode that hasn't been put out yet. And now we need three other spots. Uh, let's see, uh, let's just pick some classic series stuff. Um, uh, let's pick the Alec Baldwin version of A Friend in Need, because then the fans will buy it, because, you know, the Alec Baldwin versions of this story are pretty rare at this point. So let's just throw this on there. Okay, uh, let's pick some other classic series stuff. Let's pick, let's pick two random episodes that deal with Edward. And just throw them on there because people like Edward, right? This release felt like such a cash grab, honestly. I feel like the only reason that this was a thing is because of those reasons stated earlier with Lionsgate scrambling to release the rest of the pack, the rest of Season 7, and the Alec Baldwin version of A Friend in Need. It just feels so scummy, to me at least. I felt like I got a little cheated whenever I first bought this because of the fact that I was expecting a whole lot more from this. And even the Universal version. The Universal version has no bonus content whatsoever. I can't tell you what the original bonus content was. Because I don't know what it is because I don't own a Lionsgate version. And Universal just completely stripped out any bonus content whatsoever. So all you get is the stories. And the stories, while being classic series and stuff, are repurposed and therefore make them not as good. Yes, it is cool that we get to see the, the Alec Baldwin version of A Friend in Need, but I don't know if the Alec Baldwin versions of Jack Jumpson and A Friend in Need were as rare at this point in time. I know they became easier to get as time went on after the pack uh, series finished airing and stuff like that, but I don't know if they were as rare. You could just easily find them online, probably. So again, it just feels scummy. It feels like they left out the story Mud Glorious Mud from the uh, two previous pack series r releases just to give it its own release, just to entice you to buy it more. I'll admit, it was a good choice from a business aspect, but from a consumer aspect, it felt like they screwed over their consumer. And because of this, I cannot recommend Mud Glorious Mud. 
So to me, the PAX series will always be incomplete because I did not grow up with Mud Glorious Mud. I never even knew this episode existed. It has no special place in my heart like the other PAX series does. I grew up with On Sight with Thomas and Thomas's Trusty Friends. Those are the PAX series. Mud Glorious Mud is like the crazy uncle that comes by drunk at Christmas. Number four, where should you pick this product up? Same answers as number one. And number five, what price should you pay? Well, you obviously didn't listen to my recommends if you want to pick this up. As I always say, it's your money. You do what you want. It's a capitalist society. Unless at this point in the future we've converted to communism, because I don't know. It's pretty far back in the past whenever I'm recording this, so I don't know what point the government status is at at this point. Mud Glorious Mud I paid $5 for at Target. I think that's as much... I think that's the highest that you should pay for Mud Glorious Mud. I don't think you should pay for Mud Glorious Mud at all. But if you were going to buy it, then 5 bucks should be your highest bet. So that's the HMR on Mud Glorious Mud. Uh, again, it's a cheap release that I don't think should be supported but since I'm a completionist I have to buy everything and I had to buy this my pain will really start coming out whenever we get to the CGI series coming up here pretty soon we're actually getting extremely close to the CGI series so two weeks from now comes the HMR on the great discovery one of the first Thomas specials actually it's the second Thomas special special calling all engines was the first so this is its pseudo sequel continuation it's not really a sequel to calling all engines it's not really a sequel to anything it's just kind of its own thing so i'd say it's the continuation of the thomas and friends special franchise i guess you could say and this sparked the whole a special a year mentality but anyway, I don't want to spoil anything for that HMR coming up in two weeks. I want to thank you all for watching, and as always, good night, everybody.